In this video, I will be trying to beat Year 1 in LEGO Harry Potter's Year 1 4 without jumping mostly. Basically, we will only be jumping when it's needed and not randomly. So, most of the collectibles will not be obtained and getting stats too. That's basically all the rules we'll be doing for this challenge. Let's start it. First, I'll turn off Rumble for the controller. If one of the characters jump itself, there's nothing I can do about it, so it won't count as a jump. Also, if I just fall off a high place without jumping, it also does not count as a jump. There's a Gryffindor house crest in this area, but I cannot get it because then he's jumping. The Green Guns Bank also has no jumping needed, so we're good. In the vaults, there's also no jumping required, unless you want to get a purple stud, which we're not gonna get. <laughs> and we're back at Diagon Alley, and we don't need to jump once in this level, so we did this without jumping. Pet areas do not require jumping, so we're good. For the Vanguardian Leviosa class, we have to pull up some things to get down the students. But here we have one slight problem. We're gonna have to jump. And there's four jumps total. We should be good though now, right? No. There's no way of going down without jumping, so we're gonna have to jump, which makes five total jumps in this level. Now we're in the second story level where we have to go through the pet areas. And we're gonna have to jump again. We have to jump five times again. At the end of the video, I'll tell you in total how much jumps I did. Luckily, you don't need to jump anymore in this level. And it's also the shortest level, so that's good. Also, I can get the house crest. The boss fight was really easy, it had no jumping required. We just saw me jump. Well, actually, that was me, it was the mountain troll that did that, so we're good. All right, by jumping, I mean me pressing the jump button. And we're good, and on to the next part of the game. It takes a while doing that for me. Oh. Look at that, we have to jump more again. Four jumps again. Usually you would keep jumping back up, back up, getting the pieces, but you can just throw it down to the floor and jump once. And now we did five jumps. I forgot one piece, so that's five more jumps. Potions class was easy, it had no jumping needed, and we got a strength potion. This we can open things without needing strong characters. I had to jump 3 times though just to feed the lion to open the walls. I also had to jump once in the herbology class. You jump on a broomstick that counts, but since it was a cutscene I was already on it. I also had to do an annoying boss battle, but it was short though. I had to jump to go on the broom. If I get off the broom I jump again, but we don't have to worry about that. I was able to go through the area. In level 3, our first jump is going on the broomstick and going off it. And we're gonna have to jump even more with those blocks again. But with very good math skills, I jumped 3 times only. We have to jump more again. But luckily it was 3 jumps only. And the worst part is that we have to jump 4 times in the end. But after that we're done with the level, so no more jumping. The 4th level is gonna have a quite a few amount of jumps to do. But I can avoid this jump easily. I can switch characters so the other one doesn't hold the book, so I can go on without having to do an extra jump. I also have to jump here two times. Since there's two items for the potion, I'm gonna have to jump another time back here. I'm jumping here again. But after that, there's no more jumping required for a level and we're good. You can get a silver and house crest without jumping. I don't know if you should count this as jumping, but I didn't jump. It does automatically when you go on the ladder. More jumping. Luckily it is possible to jump two times. I set to jump up to dig the floor. You probably think I don't need to jump here anymore. Well, you're wrong. We have to jump two more times again on those bricks. I was supposed to go on the leaves without jumping, but I found a way. It's kind of hard, but you have to somehow go on that yellow flower or the pumpkin. But after that, you can walk and you can finish the level. You can jump over that vine, but we're gonna have to destroy it. <laughs> the final level's first stage is pretty easy. 
the second part also has no jumping needed. But you can't go down instantly, you have to help Ron first get out of the vine. There's a flying key so I'm gonna have to jump on the broom. And then also have to get off, you can go through the door. I'm switching characters but then you go out the broom first so that's a bad thing. You can see here me trying to do it but it didn't work. I don't know if you want to count this as jump because it didn't press the jump button but you can count it if you want. The Bowser battle needs one jumping required. Second phase you need to jump two times. And for the final phase you need to jump two more times again. And we have completed year one with 45 jumps including that chessboard one. If you want me to try this chance on year two tell me in the comments below. It was a pretty fun chant, I got some percent score when I usually used to get 10% score with jumping. Thanks for watching.